next feature that I'd like to discuss is named seaplanes. So it's very similar to named views, but it's uh, much more important and much more powerful. So we start similarly as we did with named views and a common prompt we type named named seaplane. And we have this uh, dialog box open. I, would, I, I like to keep it on the side. Here I also like to keep name views, but just for the purpose of this tutorial, I'm not going to be opening it up so that you won't get, get confused. So by default, I have three sequence world top, world front, and if I double click on the perspective view to activate it and expand it, we can see how these uh, seaplanes, uh, coordinate planes, are changing. Right? So the active ones are constantly changing. So let's say I'd like to create my own personal this coordinate system, so uh, the seaplane. But to do that, just type in, let's say, seaplane and then in the common prompt type seaplane and here you can choose uh, what sort of method for creating your plane you'd like to use and i will my personal favorite is three points but you can also use other other methods so i encourage you to explore it but i'm choosing three points and i will choose this point so the red one, now I am um, picking the direction uh, for the red uh, say vector direction, and this is the x direction. So let's pick, let's say, this one. And for the y direction, I'm picking this point. So we're picking three points, which is origin, x direction, and y direction. So now I have my C plane. And let's say I want to save it and use it many times later on. So <clears throat> just before saving it, I want to um, show you that. So this newly created seaplane, which I which I have just created from three points, is uh, shown to us as a grid. Uh, meanwhile, the actual active seaplane, um, which is saved. Is, is being shown as three arrows, it's like world, uh, this axis. So if, uh, if I save the C plane now, let's say save as, let's say custom C plane. Zero one. And click OK. So now we don't have activated seaplane in the sense from our list. As you can see, we don't have these small arrows anymore. But if I select this one, newly created one, to be active one, I can see these three arrows representing the, the x, y, z directions of the seaplane. So now I have my custom uh, seaplane. Similarly to the name views, you can also open the, the tab over here. Uh, so let's use the name seaplanes so over here next to name positions, name views. So this is a name seaplanes, but as I mentioned before, I, I prefer having it on the side. So let's say on this seaplane, now I would like to create some geometry. So I would go to the center a uh, circle so it's on the side these uh, tools seem on the side and i will just create a circle and then i'd say i want to orient it on another another seaplane which i'm going to create so i would create new seaplane again from three points I'm uh, saying I'm going to select uh, this and this. So 
I have this one. And and <clears throat> on my main sequence tab, I click Save As and select change the name, select two instead of one. So I have now my two sequence, customized sequence. So what I want to do from this custom C plane zero one, I want to orient it to, I want to orient the circle to custom C plane zero two. How I do that? So first I need to make sure that my active C plane is the origin one, the, the one that I begin with, initial one. I select geometry that I want to orient, that I want to transform. And I go to transform. So at the menu, upper menu, then you would have transform. And you go to orient. And then choose remap to C plane. Let's choose that. And on common uh, and common prompt, uh, there's some settings you can select. So it says click on C plane to map to. So the destination or target C plane. Do I want to copy the geometry? No, I don't want to copy. It. And I want to select the C plane. And now when I select that, I am I want to orient to the C plane. It says name of C plane to map to. And here, then using this list on your right, you can choose another C plane to map to. So just double click on this custom C plane 0 0.2. And there you go. So let's go back to the world top C plane. We have our circle gate geometry oriented. So this is actually a quick introduction to the world of uh, seaplanes within Rhino.